بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمد ونستعين ونستغفر ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبد رسول ذكر المؤلف رحمه الله تعالى شيئا مما يتعلق بالعتق يعني تحرير الرقاب المملوكة من العبودية الرق إلى الحرية نعم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم and then after this the author he spoke about العتق and العتق is the emancipation of those slaves who are owned and in slavery and freeing them so they are free الدين الإسلامي عندما بعث النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم كان الدخول في الرق كثير فالدين الإسلامي ضيق كل الطرق في الدخول للرق ولم يبقى إلا طريقين وفتح أبواب كثيرة للخروج من الرق هذا فيه أن الدين الإسلامي جاء لإغلاق هذا الباب إلا في أضيق الصور نعم When the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was sent and the religion of Islam was established and revealed there were many different ways for which people would be brought into slavery and Islam came and abolished all those ways for a person to be to become a captive or a slave except for two particular ways and at the same time Islam placed many ways and many causes for a slave to be emancipated and freed from slavery and this shows that Islam came to abolish slavery except in two very restricted situations. And also, Islam ordered with treating the slaves properly and well to the extent that a person is not allowed to call his slave a abdi. If a person is a abdi, تعدى السيد على العبد مثلا قطع له طرف العبد بهذا التعدي يكون حر هذا مما جاءت به الشريعة نعم and also if the master or the owner if he violates the slave or transgresses him or cuts off something from him then this is a cause for the slave to become free نعم يذكر العلماء رحمهم الله تعالى في كل كتب الفقه حتى في منهج السالكين نعم all the علماء they mention in the books of fiqh even in منهج السالكين حكم المرتد نسأل الله العافية والسلام الذي يعني يصنع أشياء يخرج بها من الإسلام إلى الكفر الأكبر أو الشرك الأكبر نعم the علماء in the books of fiqh including in منهج السالكين they mention the ruling of a ridda and a ridda is apostasy meaning a person who is a muslim and he does a certain action which is shirkun akbar or kufrun akbar and therefore leaves the fold of islam may Allah protect us نعم. و... وهي أربع أشياء. and يعني these are four إجمالا. and these generally speaking there are four matters القول. a particular statement كأن يسب مثلا يسب الدين يسب الرب يسب النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم for example, if a person insults the religion, insults Allah, ins Subhana, insults the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. الفعل مثل السحر. And then secondly, certain actions like magic, black magic, السحر. الثالث الاعتقاد مثل أن يعتقد أن أحد يعلم الغيب أو أحد بعد النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم هو نبي أو رسول. And then third, certain beliefs, like if a person believed that other than Allah has knowledge of the unseen or that there will be a prophet after Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. نعم. الرابع الشك كأن يشك في أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم هو خاتم الأنبياء والرسل عليه الصلاة والسلام أو يشك في رسالة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. And the fourth cause of apostasy, a ridda, is doubt, meaning if a person doubts whether the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the final messenger or not. Or يشك في أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم هو عبد الله ورسوله. Or if a person doubts the, the prophethood of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. نعم. 
فهؤلاء العلماء يذكروا أن هنا ليس بحد هنا حكم المرتد ممكن يقول حد السرقة حد كذا عرفت حد القتل لكن في المرتد ما يقول حد يقول حكم لماذا لأن السلطان يستتيب هذا يقول اسمع تب عن هذا إذا تاب تركه وإن لم يتب للسلطان أن يقيم على الحد القتل يقتل الآن لكن لكن الساح الساح السارق مثلا يقيم على الحد حتى ولو تاب نعم and when it comes to the chapter of uh, ridda apostasy the ulama they talk about the ruling of apostasy they don't talk about the punishment of apostasy as opposed to when it comes to for example the punishment of the thief they mention the punishment of the thief and the punishment of the sahir they mention the punishment of the sahir when it comes to the murtad the apostate they talk about the ruling of apostasy and this is because the murtad he is uh, questioned by the hakim by the state by the sultan and he is told to repent and come back into islam as of, and and therefore no ruling or no punishment is applied to him as opposed to thief for example even if the thief was to repent the punishment still applies to him naam ذكر الفقهاء رحمه الله تعالى في في هذا الباب القذف يعني يقذف إنسان يعني يرمي إنسان يقول عنه مثلا أنه كافر أو شيء من هذا أو يرميه مثلا بالفاحشة أو ما إلى ذلك نعم and also the ulama mention in the chapter in fiqh regarding القذف and القذف is an accusation which is made against another person like for example the accusation of kufr takfir the accusation of disbelief or for example accusing another person of fahisha indecency and immorality sharia ja'at bimadha bi ashya kathira minha and the sharia it established many things and from those matters which were established by the sharia hifz al-din is the protection of a person's religion hadha hukm al-murtad and this is with regards to the hukm of the murtad hifz al-aql wa li hadha muni' al-khamr and also protecting pe- protecting people's intellect and this is why khamr has been forbidden hifz al-'irz wa li hadha ma yumkin an tatakallam fi 'irz insan law tatakallam yarfa' amrak lil-qadi al-qadi yuqim 'alayka al-had and also to protect and make sacred the honor of people and this is why it is not permitted for a person to violate the honor of another person and if this was done under the sharia then that person whose honor was violated he has a right to complain to the qadi the muslim judge and then the punishment is applied to that person who violated his honor walihada law shahida ithnain min ash-shuhud ala insan annahu qatal akhar السلطان ينظر في هذه القضية صحة عنده صحة الشهود قد يضرب عنق هذا القاتل لكن في الرمي بالفاحشة يحتاج إلى أربع شهود لماذا حفظا على عرض المسلم نعم and for this reason if a, a person is accused of murder it requires two trustworthy witnesses and if those two trustworthy witnesses are found and then the state or the ruler looks at the judgment and analyzes the case and they found that person to be guilty then the islamic punishment is applied with two trustworthy reliable witnesses however when it comes to an accusation of a zina of adultery four witnesses are required four trustworthy reliable witnesses why because this relates to this accusation it relates to the honor of a person and that honor has to be sacred and protected hifz al mal and also the sharia it established and it came with the protection of people's wealth kayfa nahfaz al mal and how is the wealth of the people protected andana al qadi yanzur fi hal ba'd al nas naam al sagir wal majnun 
ماذا يصنع القاضي يأخذ الأموال التي عندهم يحافظ عليها أو يعطيها من يحافظ عليها مال مال من الصغير والمجنون لأنه ما يحسن التصرف في ماله نعم and also the sharia it came with the command to protect the wealth of the people and how does the sharia protect the wealth of the people that the ruler or the qadi has a right to control the wealth of certain groups of people and that is the one who is young and the one who has a mental disability because both of these groups of people they don't know how to look after and spend their wealth and so in this case the state or the qadi is able to control their wealth or give power of attorney to people who will be guardians over their wealth tamam هذا قسم so this is one section القسم الثاني the other section عندنا بعض الناس يدخل في التجارة there are some people who enter into business and, tra- and trading ويخسر and maybe they, they lose ثم يدخل في تجارة ثانية ويخسر and then enters into another business deal and then loses تجارة ثالثة ويخسر another business deal a third one then loses again ديون الناس يطالبوا بمال and then the debts and the loans are building up and the people are requesting from him to repay the debts فماذا يصنع هؤلاء يرفع أمر هذا إلى القاضي يقول فلان يلعب ويأخذ أموال ولا يسدد نعم فماذا يصنع به القاضي القاضي يحجر عليه يعني يمنع من التصرف لا يبيع لا يشتري لا يتاجر نعم and, and so this person who is taking on debts and failing in businesses and his debts are growing and people are requesting for the loan to be, be paid back and he's not paying the loan back what do they do they go to the qadi the muslim judge the muslim court and they raise a case against him نعم. and they say that this person he is taking people's money and it's a game to him and he's not paying the money so here the qadi has a right to enforce an order upon that person like an order of insolvency and take control by force of the wealth of this person بعض الناس لا يرتدع الا بالسلطان and this is because some people they do not desist except by the power of the law ولهذا لو تعلم ان هناك حتى في هذه الدوله تعلم ان بعض الناس يخطط لتفجير لتخريب لقتل لا بد تبلغ عليه اذا لم تبلغ عليه انت شريك لهذا لان التبليغ عنه هذا في مصلحه الكل نعم and this is why in this country if you know of people who are planning violence or to blow or to bomb certain places it is an obligation upon you to notify the authorities regarding that person and if you do not notify the authorities regarding this person who is planning these activities then you are an associate of his in this action why because this person being prevented from this level of violence and bombing and indiscriminate killing this is for the benefit of all of us قالوا ماذا عليك هو يقتل كفار and if a person said but why is it your business let him kill the non muslims الذي تراه اليوم هو ما يقتل كفار يقتل المسلمين يفجر في المساجد because if you look around you and if you listen and if you watch these cases you will see that these people are not killing non muslims they are killing muslims it is the masajid which are being blown up لماذا and why لان هو يعتقد ان هؤلاء كفار اصليين وانتم مرتدين هو يعتقد هذا دين نعم because this person believes that as for the non muslims they were non muslims by default but as for you people you are murtadin you are apostates you have left the fold of islam فالاولى قتل المرتد قبل قتل الكافر الاصلي and this is a deen this is his aqida this is what he believes and he also believes that the killing of a murtad i mean you comes first before the killing of the kafir asli ولهذا لا بد تفهم من هو المرتد and this is why we have to understand and study who is a murtad اي انسان يصنع اي كبيره عنده مرتد so it isn't the case that any individual who commits a major sin 
now becomes an apostate like what these people think. إذن إخواننا لا بد نتعلم. And for this reason, our brothers, we have to learn. لأن لو تتعلم ترفع الجهل عن نفسك وعن غيرك وعن إخوانك ولا تقع هذه الإشكالات. Because through learning and through knowledge, you are removing ignorance from yourself and you're removing ignorance from others, and therefore these problems do not occur. ثم أن المؤلف رحمه الله تعالى ختم بباب الإقرار. And then after this, the author he finished his book with the chapter of الإقرار. ختم بهذا الباب تفاؤلا أن الله سبحانه وتعالى يختم له بالإقرار بالشهادتين ومن كان آخر كلام لا إله إلا الله لم يبقى بينه وبين الجنة إلا الموت. And the reason why the author he finished his book with the chapter of Al-Iqrar because this was him hoping and having optimism in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah allows him to live his life to the end upon accepting La ilaha illallah and because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said whoever his last speech or his last statement is La ilaha illallah there is nothing between him and Jannah except death ثumma khatam rahimahullah بحمد الله سبحانه وتعالى لماذا لأن الله أتم عليه النعمة نعم and then the last statement of the phrase which the author mentioned رحمه الله is to praise Allah سبحانه وتعالى with the الحمد of Allah why he's thanking and praising Allah who allowed him and guided him to complete this goodness نحمد الله أولا وآخرا and this is why we should praise Allah at the beginning and the end. And then the author finished by sending salutations upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala an yakhtiba lana wa lakum bil tawheed. Ameen. Wallahu a'lam. Wa sallallahu ala nabiya Muhammad wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Wa jazakum allahu khayran. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he allows us to end upon tawheed for me and you. And may peace and blessings be upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.